Hey guys, let's take a look at some of the mysterious faces and figures carved in the ancient site of Machu Picchu. It's very intriguing to look at these because unlike other ancient sites, these faces are not very obvious to the naked eye. You can identify these figures only if you take the time to look at them very carefully. Every day, thousands of tourists visit Machu Picchu and leave without even noticing these faces and figures. Towards the end of the video, we will also see how similar these figures are with the Nazca lines. This giant rock is called the face of life and death by locals. From this angle, you can see a normal profile of a human face. Notice the deliberate construction of a crown on top of the head which shows us that this is a carved face. Even today, the local Quechua people, who are the descendants of Incas, do not walk on this figure's head because they do not want to disrespect the symbol. Taurus are completely unaware of this and stand on top of this figure. Also, the eyes have been carved on this figure to confirm that it was done on purpose. This side is called the face of life because of a dimple carved on the cheek to show a happy face. If we walk over to the other side of Machu Picchu and take a look at the same rock, you can see a sad, dying face. All over Machu Picchu, you can see the concept of duality and this is a fantastic example of how you can see both life and death in the same rock. Again, this is not a natural formation, but whoever created this face carved it carefully to imply a deep philosophy of life and death. The second structure that resembles a crude face is the giant mountain range of Machu Picchu itself. Unlike the previous one, this seems like a completely natural formation. In the last few years, you can see a lot of people claiming that it does look like a sleeping human face. You can see a rough face of a man with facial features of the nose, mouth and the forehead. If this is a face of a sleeping man and if Machu Picchu shows duality, there must be a sleeping woman as well, right? Take a look at this rock roughly carved to look like a sleeping woman. You can see her face and her breast that clearly shows the profile of a woman. My tour guide told me that samples collected on this rock showed traces of gold etched on it. It's possible that centuries ago this stone was completely covered in gold which was a sacred metal for Incas and a precious metal for everyone else. If it was totally covered with gold it would glitter in sunlight which would be an aerial signal to the quote-unquote gods above. Now let's move on to decoding some of the more intricate figures that can be found in Machu Picchu. The locals believe that Machu Picchu was constructed as a collection of symbols and we are not talking about a few dozen symbols we are talking about hundreds or even thousands of symbols to be understood by higher intelligence. According to the locals each stone was placed carefully to mean something and to be understood by the gods. In one of the walls you can see that the rocks are arranged in the shape of a llama. You can see its head, the neck and the whole body. Traces of colors were found on these walls which indicate these figures could have been painted with bright colors centuries ago. Is this just a coincidence or was it carefully constructed to look like a llama? Many small statues of llamas covered in animal fat were unearthed in Machu Picchu. This is intriguing because the Nazca people of Peru also created a llama which is only visible from the air. According to historians, the Inca people and the Nazca people had no connection or communication whatsoever. Are these just coincidences or do they mean something really important? Here is another popular figure carved in the Nazca desert called the Andean condor. The specialty of this bird is its wings with a huge wingspan of more than 10 feet. 
in Machu Picchu, we find an Andean condor sculpted on the floor. You can see its head and the body, but where are the wings? Why would a bird with a remarkable wingspan of over 10 feet be carved without the wings? If you take a few steps back and look at the bigger picture, you can find the gigantic wings of the Andean condor in the background. These two giant rocks have been carved to be shaped like wings. Notice the rock on the left is not even touching the ground, which symbolizes the bird while flying in the air. If we can find similar figures in Nazca lines in Machu Picchu, is it possible that Machu Picchu has all the figures represented in Nazca lines? Archaeologists and historians claim that the Nazca people and the Inca people had completely different cultures and were not connected at all. How is it possible that figures like the llama and condor were found in both the sites? Could this all just be a coincidence? Let's take a look at this carving in Machu Picchu. This is not a shape formed by rocks like the previous examples, but it has been carved like a monkey holding its baby. You can see the eyes, ears, and even the legs of the monkeys. A figure of the monkey is also found in Nazca lines. Note that the first few human-like faces we saw in Machu Picchu can also be found in Nazca lines. I think we can all agree that at least it's more likely that Machu Picchu and Nazca lines were constructed by a similar civilization rather than two completely different cultures. These mysterious figures of Machu Picchu and Nazca lines must have been created by a very advanced civilization whether it began on our planet or elsewhere. I hope you like this video and whether you agree with me or not, please do leave a comment. I'm finding a lot of intriguing stuff like this so please do subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and talk to you soon.